The next step is setting up a real projector and object. We need a mini projector. My favorite one is this Vankyo mini projector GO200. Super small but high brightness and easy to set up. The price is reasonable. I think buying this projector is a great investment to enjoy touches in our life and your creation. I could expand my creation even in my place by buying this. If you know more details, I have the video about mini projectors. It has a purchase link as well. Let's check it out. So I put the mini projector on the desk and the paper house as well. And align the centers, I fix the position of the mini projector. And I measure the distance between the paper house and the lens. It's 0 0.455 meter, so I put the value to translate to Z. I measure the height of the lens. It's 0 0.045 meter, so I put the value uh, to the translate Y 0 0.045. By other four five, that's great. Rough measurement, rough measurement is okay. Cause adjustment later. Setting up is just done. Go back to touches in. I'm gonna create mapping texture with Kantan Mapper. Do you remember the meaning of Kantan? Yes, it's easy. So we can create them easily. I'm gonna. And open the window. A little bit bigger. Okay. And this, uh, uh, you can delete this rectangle. So I'm gonna press the button of create freedom. I'm gonna make the shape along the house's edge, like this. Okay. This time, uh, and uh, Toggle visibility is off, and I also uh, create the entrance part like this. The shape of triangle, and okay, and also uh, toggle is off, and I'm gonna add a rectangle to fill the door like this okay so uh, I'm gonna uh, turn on the visibility or the visibility uh, I change the color uh, it is be green like this to green and entrance is Mm -hmm. Blue, light blue, zero point five, zero point seven, one. Yeah, I took just three minutes. Kanta, done. Let's take a linder top for simulation. Mm, this. Hmm, I see. I see. And you can attach the texture made by other tops like noise top. So I'm gonna add noise top, noise top, and uh, I change the parameter like period is five, and monochrome off, and ha. Uh, And the harmonic, harmonic gain is 1 or amplitude okay. so. 
and the harmonic spread is one uh, one okay and transform uh, go to transform and I'm gonna add as an expression uh, of time dot seconds okay nice and uh, one more I open the I'm gonna open the <coughs> quantum upper windows I'm gonna drop the noise dot to texture black okay and I pr I'm gonna press this button okay nice if you go away from uh, the front of the mapping window so you can you press H button you come back to the main window that's cool finally let's do the projection I'm gonna add window comp I'm gonna add window comp comp this and uh, new to uh, go to the window operator and the monitor is one let's turn on the switch and select the HDMI oh my god and you need to plug in to and to connect to the projector in my laptop via HDMI in HDMI this then laptop recognize the projector so the resolution is important here as I read the specification of the projector the native resolution is 854 by 480 but I look the display setting and select the uh, second monitor and display uh, as a resolution of the display is uh, 1360 by 768 I don't know which one I should trust so I go with the display setting same I'm gonna change the resolution anywhere the, at first uh, render top uh, 1360 and 768 and the quantum mapper resolution is the uh, one three uh, six zero and seven six eight and also this uh, window comp and opens opening size uh, is custom and whereas is one three six zero uh, height eight, seven six eight. Okay, uh, you need to uh, turn off borders toggle. So press the open button to see how it goes. Oh, cool! Oh, nice. But some of the projection are a little off because simulation is not always perfect. I'm gonna adjust some parts in counter mapper. I always have enough. You can adjust uh, seeing the projection. I always nothing to talk about while doing this. Who is your favorite character in One Piece? I would say Rob Rucci because his style is so cool like Shigan or Rokoga and the, it's cute that he got a pigeon on his shoulder 
think that's nice. I think that's okay. This is whole scenes, but the front is kind of boring. So I'm gonna rotate uh, the paper house like that. Like that. So I need to change the geocom transform uh, this and translate y is like this and rotate y is like this yeah uh, we should uh, measure correctly but it's okay. Yeah, I'm doing roughly. Let's add some texture on side uh, side parts and open the content mapper and change the texture like this, this here and here. Okay, turn off the toggle, play down, and the rectangle and here, here. Here. Okay, and turn off and change the uh, location of the point to the correct the part and of the know is here 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 and here okay so i'm gonna add the rectangle to for the side part this 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 and the color is uh, yeah i like the yellow and uh, and i also <coughs> the rectangle or the roof here yeah here and the color is always uh zero point five and zero point one and zero point eight. You know it's a little bit off so I need to uh, move, the, move this. Hmm. Yep. Ouch! Shit, man. And I'm gonna adjust again, checking the projection. Okay, now finish. If you want more correctly and uh, to the uh, adjust, you measure uh, the rotation uh, of the real uh, paper house. So and put the value to the geometry comp. Okay, that finish. Uh, actually, uh, my work that I posted on Instagram before it is with this mini projector and the same process. I think a mini projector is a game changer. That probably is too much, but I believe it. So if you like my video, I'm happy to share your creation uh, with my mention at Miyamaroon. And don't forget the like button and the subscribe. See you soon.